Okay, so I had a really good question from Jessica in the uh, third hour class. And um, she was asking about overlaying images or creating a multiple exposure effect in Photopea. And honestly, it works a lot like you would do it in Photoshop. There's a few differences in the way that you access things and um, what you need to click to get there. Uh, but let's go ahead and go through it. I'm going to open up a few pictures here. So this might be a good one to work with. I try to find pictures that um, connect well with each other, like thematically and also um, spatially. I think this has a lot of nice negative space that I can work with with another picture. And let's open up one more. <laughs> this picture I took a while back in my dad's garden of this old sculpture, and I think this could be a nice connection. Uh, what you're going to need to do is we're going to need to copy this. Now, normally I would just drag the layer over, but you can't drag these out of these places because of the way that the uh, software is set up. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use a selection tool. Just grab this, and then I can copy that. And then I'm going to go back over to the garden sculpture picture and go ahead and click paste. Now that came in when I pasted it is a separate layer, so that's good to remember. Um, obviously, it's not the same size. I didn't shoot that with the same camera, and um, this quality or this image size is a little smaller. So we need to change the size a bit. And the way that we're going to do that is sorry, it's under edit. We'll click the free transform. And then what you're going to want to do is hold shift while you do this so that it keeps the aspect ratio. And then we're just going to drag that until it's about the same size as the other picture. And I'll go ahead and say yes to confirm it. And then honestly, all you need to do is up here, and I have this uh, positioned kind of close here. Maybe I can drag this out a little bit. Maybe I can't. Um, but if you go up here to where it says uh, normal, ooh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. I want to have a little more space here. Um, you can pick different ways that the layers interact. This is just like in Photoshop. So let's try a couple out. Um, probably my first inclination would be to use overlay. That's kind of an interesting um, combination there. You could also just leave it normal and drop the opacity of the layer down a little bit and that could be kind of a nice look. There's some other things that we could do. If I go down a little bit, there's difference that creates almost like an inversion of the uh, picture. And exclusion, that's kind of pleasant looking, I like how that looks. And subtract is different. That's um, but you can play around in here a little bit and just see what looks good to you. I'd encourage you to experiment with different ways that these combine. And they're going to have different effects based on what photographs you're merging together. So each one is kind of its own thing. Um, so I would experiment and see what you like best. I'm liking that. I think I uh, think that's the one for me right there. So I have it the way I want it. What you'd want to do then is you can save it as a PSD to keep the two layers, right? So that way you can continue to re-edit. Um, but if you want to collapse this into a JPEG, if you want to make this permanent, you can go ahead and save it as a JPEG. And just like you did before, um, that's the format. These are the dimensions. I like to turn my quality up all the way. Sometimes this thing lags a little bit. My internet connection's not the quickest. And I'll say save. And it looks like it already showed up in my download. So there is the picture. So hopefully that answered your question as to how you can overlay uh, two images together. I think it works uh, pretty well. Um, maybe a few more clicks than you would have to do with Photoshop, but um, not bad. 
All right. You guys have a great night. Hopefully that answered your question.